we have Dr. Marco Gureles. Uh, he's the director of CEO of the Force Asia Academy. Uh, he's a pioneer in AI and ne uh, network security, cyber securities, and he's an amazing person who come share with us the Force Asia Academy. Thank you Please very welcome. much. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm, um, I'm super excited to be here today. Um, I love Thailand, I love Bangkok. I'm happy that uh, Force Asia is here. Um, uh, I'll be presenting the Force Asia Academy. This is also very exciting. It's a new project that we're working on. Um, and it's a new thing that we're, we're trying to make it grow. And, and it's for, for everyone, uh, for every developer and the non-developers too. So um, as we talk today, uh, I think Mario mentioned it. Uh, if you look at the Force Asia repositories in GitHub, this is where we have our projects, we have the code. There's uh, 226 repositories. I don't know if you can see at the background, it's very small. And there's more than 4,000 people registered there, right? So by the time that we've been uh, working on all these projects and getting people on board, uh, we've, been, we, we've needed to have documentation, we've needed to have uh, some trainings for these people, right? So sometimes you get people that is super new to code, they don't know how to do anything, they just want to collaborate. So these people need some, some sort of training. They need some, to get on board, some instructions on how to do things. Then sometimes you even get people that are developers but are not uh, that, they don't know that much about your project, they don't know that much about the technology you're using. So they also need to be trained. So we've been doing this for many years. This is not like something new. We're not doing anything new here. We just realized that we, we might as well make this into a more formal way. So that is uh, why we created the Force Asia Academy. Force Asia Academy, it's an effort uh, on the Force Asia side to make a formal education system for open technologies, right? So we created the first academy for free and open technologies. So in this, um, in this academy, we want to focus on three main pillars. So we want to have uh, a branch for education. education. So we're gonna have uh, courses. It's not, I'm not saying that we, uh, it's not, as I said, it's not something new. This is like just basically Post Asia Academy is becoming the glue that puts all together. Because we, we've been doing workshops, we've been doing all this all the time. But now we're, we're, we're just putting it all together in a more formal, more formal way. So as I said, we have three pillars. We have education, and we have a coding, uh, coding part where, where the students will get a real uh, world experience. And then we will provide em employment and engagement into the open source communities, open source companies, and different types of projects. So it's a whole, it's a whole path for all students um, that they can follow. So for education, we have uh, courses, trainings, and certifications. We're working in certifications. We don't have uh, them available yet. We're going to have certifications for Force Asia. We're going to have certifications. Uh, we're working with the Linux Professional Institute. We're going uh, also working with the Singapore government. Um, maybe, uh, why not, uh, with uh, people in Thailand, right? So that's why we're here. So in terms of education, this is an example of the workshops that we did at the last uh, FOSS Asia Summit. So workshop for people to learn new skills. This was, uh, some of them were uh, in collaboration with Microsoft. Uh, some others were with IBM. So different uh, workshops. This, uh, actually, we were providing certificates for, this, for these workshops to people. Um, we, we collect all our workshops uh, on YouTube. So we have a YouTube channel that you can access. So this is part of the education that we want to put together. There's uh, many, many workshops with, uh, that you can learn many technologies about many frameworks on our YouTube channel. We also, we're starting to do workshops out of the events. So this is actually uh, two workshops that we did in uh, Tsinghua University. Uh, I think uh, we, did, we did the workshops in Tsinghua University. We did it uh, with the uh, Python, uh, Python for Women at, at, um, in the Senchen. So this, we're starting to do workshops out of our, our own events. 
So that is something that we're also working on. And we're also creating a website. So we have academy.forceasia.org. And we're going to start putting uh, courses online. So we're going to also include online courses as part of our education uh, pillar. And then once you get uh, educated, and once you know, once you learn about, uh, once you learn about uh, the technology, it's also good to put it in practice, right? So mention, uh, Mario mentioned about CodeHit. CodeHit is one of the programs where you can actually get hands-on into real projects, which is very good, and it's a good experience for, for our students. Uh, we also have hackathons. This is the UNESCO hackathons. In collaboration with UNESCO, we do, uh, this is the hack, I think this one is the one in, that we did last year in, in Singapore, in the summit. We also, this is the one that we did in Vietnam, also in collaboration with UNESCO. And finally, the employment site where we get our students into uh, real jobs, into inter uh, internships, or engage into different projects, right? Um, so these are all the projects that we got uh, in Force Asia. So we can actually, the, some of them, uh, Mario already mentioned, PS Lab, SUSE, this is the app for Neural Lab. Uh, we have different ones, Batch Magic, Event Yay, some of them. Um, and the programs that we have uh, for our students that they can join once they get some experience. We have an advanced development uh, uh, internship program, the Google Summer of Code, Google Code In. These are programs that the students can take part and uh, get, they get actually uh, some benefits, they get uh, paid money or, or real, real stuff. And then we have the False Asia Labs, which is our incubator. So if, if our students, after getting the experience, after getting the education, they have some ideas that they want to develop, we are there to guide them through the path into getting a real product out there. So we have the experience, we have some connections that we can help uh, our students. So we, we, can, we, we can put them in practice through the False Asia Labs. And yes, uh, we will have free workshops right here. So that is something very good. Uh, I'll be personally doing, uh, so please have a look at the schedule because there's uh, so many workshops there. Uh, I'll be doing Python uh, 1 and 2. Uh, if you guys are at uh, floor 10, these rooms, uh, first Python introduction, very basic. And you don't need any, any knowledge of uh, computers. Uh, you only need to bring a laptop if you want to code, because it's code along. We'll be coding together. You'll learn, and you can take something home. So this is how we're going to work. Project-based learning. We work together, and you guys learn. Second part, it will be uh, uh, if we have, we have more time. We have like one hour, one hour and a half, depending on, on how we go. And we'll try to get some artificial intelligence data science learned with Python. So if you guys have time and interest, please come by. And yeah, please have a look at the website. If you guys uh, want to learn, if you guys uh, want to be part of the community, if you guys, if you guys know about, if your expertise of, of some technology and, and want to get on board, you can also reach out to me. You can uh, write to academy at uh, forceasia.org, or you can talk to me anytime. I'll be at the academy booth up there at the exhibition area. Right, when you get to the door to the left, I'll be there. So please talk to me. Thank you very much.